Welcome. Look at this cactus, how beautiful it is. It is an Echinopsis, but I'm not sure of the species. It's quite possible that it is a hybrid. It blooms every year, but usually there is only one, one flower open at the same time, and uh, when one fades, the other one opens. In a way, the cactus is in bloom for a longer time, but having three flowers open at the same time is just a feast for the eyes. I've had it for a long time, but it started blooming only a few years ago when I learned how to properly winterize uh, my cacti. Before I learned how to do it, I would just keep the cactus on my windowsill all year and I was just watering it much less, if at all, during winter time. However, when I started putting my cacti in the basement when it's quite cold and on the windowsill sometimes the temperatures for very brief periods fell even below freezing point, all my cacti started blooming and all my cacti started uh, appreciating uh, a better care, including this one. Uh, let me show you a flower from up close. So here is a flower. Uh, it is huge when you compare it to the size of the cactus. It is a very expensive process to produce a flower for the cactus. The energy that the cactus has to spend on, the, on producing the flower is enormous. That's why the flower is only open for one day and only for a part of the day. It will close in the afternoon. It is only open when its pollinators are active. I am not sure what pollinates an Echinopsis in the wild, but it's, it is either a bird, maybe a... Oops! You know what? Here is actually an insect. Do you see it? There is, a ins there is an insect that just went inside this flower. It is still there. It went really deep down. I hope it will be visible on the, on the video. Oops. Yes, so we have an answer. What is pollinating these flowers? It's uh, either insects or it might be a hummingbird. It is something that is active during the day, in the middle of the day. You might see it. I hope again it is visible on the on the video. Here the cactus, the center of the cactus is not circular. It is becoming a, a, like a slit. I think this cactus is developing a crest. I'm not sure I'm happy about it or not. But this is what seems to be happening here. As you can see, just like on some other cacti that I showed you this year, that I showed you before, there are scars here on this on the ribs of this cactus of this Echinopsis and they are scars from too much sun exposure. This year was not really a good one for my cacti. The spring was very very wet and long and they spent quite a lot of time in the basement. I only took them outside in the middle of May and then right the day after I took them outside there was a very very bright sunny day and uh, many of the cacti didn't appreciate that, didn't appreciate the fact that I didn't that I didn't uh, give them a little bit of a, a little bit of time to to adjust to different light 
conditions. I will have to be definitely much more careful next year when I take them outside. I really hope you like my cactus. Thank you so very much for watching. Have a great day.